Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a Zephyr Prime build. Now, Zephyr is super fun. You can, one, just fly around the map, what is just really, really cool. You can be an aeroplane if you really want to. Go around, go into the planes and just go, just fly, like literally, like, more or less forever. Really, really fun. And, or you could just do an endurance build, like how I always do. And his turbulence, I mean, her turbulence mod basically allows all projectiles to be basically redirected so projectiles don't hit you so very very hard to kill if the enemies shoot projectiles like grenade for example and your tornado and your air burst give really, really good crowd control so very very good for endurance runs. so if you're an endurance run player like myself then this is a really really good frame so uh, yeah let's get into the build now with zephyr you well with my zephyr i didn't really build for strength i mainly built for duration a little bit of efficiency and range because her, her tornado doesn't really do too much damage um it does damage but i mainly just use it as crowd control to be honest like my melee is going to do more damage than what this is going to do anyway so there wasn't really any point of me actually building for strength so for starters i've got one former on this you don't need a former on this by the way you can use no former if you see i've got 14 space left you do use a former you can probably just form out this if you really want to to put like energy siphon or enemy radar whatever you prefer um i don't, don't normally form auras because i just i'm too lazy to form auras you could say um i just got helios on for enemy radar and yeah so starters yeah we've got the aura what is physique for the increased health well we have a lot of health by the way we have 450 health at the base and when we go into a mission we have about 580 when this physique uh, increases our health well, it's not a too bad amount of health for just starting off with no health mods on it's not too bad so with the mods we've got prime continuity on here prime continuity increases our ability duration we have a prime flow on here for the energy um really, really simple there want to have a nice amount of energy because arcane energize obviously if we have like no prime flow we have a total of 225 energy and then arcane energizer is going to be kind of useless because it's going to it's going to like increase our energy but not as much if that makes sense so stretch on here for the range streamline on here for the efficiency i put intensify on here just because i don't want the strength to be too low like 40 percent and we do like 64 uh, damage a second was not too much so i just put it on here because there wasn't really any other mod that i could think that would actually kind of work if that makes sense and yeah you probably could add on like vitality or something like that of the sort you could put whatever mod you want on if you want you could also put prime short for it if you have that so yeah i just went on intensify just so i have a little bit more damage then so i didn't know so it's not too low uh rolling guard on here just for in case because again we can get killed by melees it's only uh things with projectiles that can't damage us when they shoot a bullet they can't actually damage i'll show in the simulac room after but basically if you're going against like some butchers and everything or acolytes for example they can obviously damage you so rolling guard just definitely helps out quite a bit for them uh, situations uh, next we've got overextended for range again like i have 90 percent ability range is enough and at nine and uh, now reminded for duration because we want a nice amount of duration on our turbulence and also on our tornado so yeah we've got airburst that basically crowd controls them and when you tap it it'll basically bring all the enemies to, uh, together when you hold it it sends all the enemies flying uh tailwind basically this is what this does is just makes you just fly so yeah it, when you use this you just fly around i don't really use this in normal missions that much i mean you just use these three abilities right here so when i do do a helmet build i'm probably going to get rid of this tailwind before a pure survival build because i don't really use tailwind much while actually doing endurance runs you could say when doing like survivals and everything yeah turbulence again it creates a windshield around zephyr redirecting all incoming projectiles and yeah it's really really good because those bullets can't damage you again you can get killed by melee stuff so acolytes and butchers all that but butchers one are like really really easy to kill they have very little armor and acolytes you can still kill them quite quickly as well and then obviously tornado it creates a deadly creates deadly tornadoes that seek out and engulf enemies tornadoes deal the elemental damage that type they absorb the most shoot engulf enemies to inflict extra damage hold a for stationary tornadoes or tap for wandering i always go with the wandering tornadoes because it just helps out with power controller a little 
And uh, yeah, it's just going to be mainly our crowd control ability. And then we've got RK Fury and Energize. RK Fury, because we're going to be using our melee all the time. So having that extra 120% melee damage is very, very nice. And RK to Energize on here for the extra energy. So yeah, what we're going to do is going to go hop into Simulac Group. And I'm going to show you a couple of the abilities and how I normally play Zephyr. So see you guys in a second. Right, so now we are in the Simulac Group. I'm going to show you exactly on how it's like. So... We are going to just spawn some heavy gunners because they have they shoot uh, a lot of bullets with the gorgon and we just need to obviously unpause them basically you just use put all your turbulence on this is without any of the other mods we put this on and you see we we, we take damage from when they slam when they do that slam attack but if you just like stand on here or something if you see we're not taking no damage at all from the actual bullets and that's what makes Zephyr really really good because we are literally taking no damage except for obviously when they do that slam attack again but when they are shooting we are taking no damage and i'll show you when the turbulence has run out and what it is like compared to when we have it up so yeah basically turbulence really really good mod you want to make sure you have this up all the time what we're gonna do is gonna wait these 10 seconds out and then yeah we'll show you on how it's like without turbulence on so we've got like five more seconds right so turbulence has run out now so i'm going to show you what it's like without turbulence on so i'm just going to try and you see here we die really really quick compared to before we didn't die at all so turbulence definitely is something you want to be using like all of the time and then what you want to do is then you can just simply combine this with your tornadoes just pop it once there you go and constant cc and you're not going to take any damage from these ones because yeah and then what I normally do after, because Zephyr has like low gravity, if you could tell by when I'm jumping, you slow down a lot more for, um, slower. So what you could do is just simply just like melee the enemies while you are just in air while they are up in the tornado and in the up in the tornadoes, and it just helps out with killing stuff a lot more quicker. You can't get shot by stuff if some stuff is not in the tornadoes, and yeah. So again, I'll show you again. We'll just we'll just pop our tornadoes. Like so, they all get in the tornadoes and just melee them like so. And look how quick they died. Because they're all like bunched up-ish, you could say. They die really, really quick. And then I'm going to show you what the airburst is like. So, just pressing the airburst, it just brings all the enemies in. Like, like uh, now this is lava or Korra's in snare. Not as good as them, but you can basically again have constant CC if your tornadoes are already up. And yeah, it's just really, really good. And then obviously you can hold it and it just sends them flying. What I never really use because I kind of find it kind of pointless, you could say. Because yeah, you want to, you want them in just so you can do as much damage as quick as possible. And what you could also do as well is you could use your airburst, get corrosive on them, and then just melee them like so. And yeah, you just keep doing the airburst to them. And they can't really damage you they can't damage you as well because you're gonna have your turbulence up as well so yeah very very good frame if you don't have zephyr prime i recommend you get in zephyr you probably do if you're watching this video that you're probably looking for a build and yeah very very good frame for endurance running just flying around in general because yeah who doesn't like just flying around you could just go into like you can go into like the planes or something and just fly around literally forever uh if you have a decent energy pool as well you could just fly around for basically ever more or less if you have a decent energy pool and it's really really fun so yeah if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel it'd be very much appreciated and it helps me out a ton comment down below on what build you want me to do next and uh yeah see you guys later peace out